defined. We take the lines away. The most interesting star, I think, the, the star that could be shocking in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. No, it's about a, to. Give me the time again for that. The thing is, it could be tomorrow. It could be during this broadcast. Everybody has been questioning it lately. Could Betelgeuse going supernova trigger an extinction on Earth? Two ancient star explosions might have done exactly that. If you follow space and astronomy news, one name keeps popping up again and again, Betelgeuse. Astronomers are constantly tracking this massive red giant in the Orion constellation, and with good reason. It's nearing the end of its life. That means it's getting ready to go supernova, one of the most dramatic and powerful events in the universe. So naturally, the big question is, what happens when Betelgeuse explodes? Could it pose a threat to life here on Earth? And has anything like this ever happened before? Let's explore the science and the history behind this cosmic possibility. What is Betelgeuse and why are scientists watching it? Betelgeuse is one of the most recognizable stars in our night sky. It forms Orion's shoulder, and it's a red supergiant, enormous, unstable, and burning through the last of its fuel. Because it's in the final phase of its stellar life, it's expected to explode into a supernova at any moment. Well, any moment in cosmic time, which could mean tomorrow or in the next 100,000 years. But whenever it happens, Betelgeuse's death will be a spectacular event. The explosion will light up our sky, possibly even visible during the day. But will it be dangerous? Can a supernova destroy life on Earth? To answer that, we need to understand what a supernova actually does. When a massive star collapses, it creates an enormous explosion that blasts radiation, neutrinos, and stellar debris across the galaxy. These explosions seed the cosmos with heavy elements like iron, uranium, and gold, the very stuff that planets and even our bodies are made of. But there's a darker side to these cosmic fireworks. If a supernova occurs too close to Earth, within around 65 light years, it could send out a wave of high-energy radiation capable of stripping away our ozone layer. No ozone means Earth would be vulnerable to the sun's harsh ultraviolet rays. That could trigger massive extinctions, collapse food chains, and even cause acid rain that lingers for years. Have supernovae caused mass extinctions in the past? According to a recent study led by Alexis Quintana at Keel University, there's good reason to believe they have. Quintana's team surveyed thousands of nearby stars within about 3,260 light years and estimated how often supernovae occur close enough to Earth to pose a real danger. Their conclusion, roughly 2.5 dangerous supernovae happen near Earth every billion years, and that timing lines up eerily well with two major extinction events. The Devonian extinction, around 372 million years ago, and the Ordovician extinction, around 445 million years ago. Both of these mass die-offs show signs of ozone depletion, but until recently, no one could explain why it happened. Supernova radiation might be the missing piece. Should we be worried about Betelgeuse? Thankfully, probably not. Betelgeuse is on the brink of exploding and so is Antares, another red giant in our stellar neighborhood. But both stars are more than 500 light years away, a safe distance when it comes to radiation fallout. That means when Betelgeuse finally does explode, it won't be a disaster. It'll be a celestial light show, not an extinction event. So, despite the drama, Earth is in no danger from Betelgeuse. Could supernovae actually be good for life? Here's a fascinating twist. We may owe our very existence to a supernova. Astronomers believe that a nearby supernova billions of years ago may have helped trigger the formation of the Sun and the planets that orbit it, including Earth. 
and as devastating as they can be, mass extinctions like the Ordovician event often clear the ecological slate, opening up space for new life to evolve. Even the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs gave mammals, including us, a chance to thrive. So while explosions from the sky sound terrifying, they can also be agents of creation, not just destruction, a universe full of surprises. So why are we so fascinated with the idea of cosmic catastrophe? Maybe because it reminds us how fragile life is and how vast the universe truly is. From the fiery death of Betelgeuse to the silent sweep of radiation across space, the forces that shape our planet often begin far beyond it. To understand our past and secure our future, we have to keep watching the stars, because whether they bring extinction or creation, they always bring change. If you love stories like this, about space, stars, and the secrets of the universe, hit that like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss what's happening in our cosmic neighborhood.